بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو ٹرولی ڈاٹ پاکستان بلاگ یو ٹیوب چینل ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا فیچرز آف بلوچستان پلیٹو سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ فرسٹ آف آل وی نیڈ ٹو نو وٹ از اے پلیٹو پلیٹو از این ایریا آف اے ہائی لینڈ کنسسٹنگ آف فلیٹ ٹرین دیٹ از ریزڈ شارپلی ابو دا سراؤنڈنگ ایریا آن ایٹ لیسٹ ون سائڈ پلیٹوز کین بی اے لارج ایریا with settlements developed on top of them. So it's not a small space. As far as Balochistan Plateau is concerned, it is the biggest plateau in Pakistan. Today we will feature the location, relief, drainage and the human activities of Balochistan Plateau. So let's begin. As you can see in this map, the location of Balochistan Plateau is towards the south and southwest of Balochistan. It is a really large area and it is marked with several types of relief and drainage features. However, you have to remember that only few features are included in the syllabus. As far as the location of Balochistan Plateau is concerned, it has Javi Hills towards the northwest Suleiman and Keita range in the east, the international border of Pakistan and Iran on the west, and the Arabian Sea towards the south. However, we have the Makran coastal range also in the south before this plateau touches the Arabian Sea. The average height of the Balochistan plateau is 600 meters to 3000 meters above sea level. So you will be seeing a lot of variation in the height of mountain ranges here. This area is marked with many parallel to sub-parallel ranges. The relief of Balochistan Plateau has deep narrow valleys like a very famous one, Quetta. The land has bare rock due to lack of rainfall, so the soils are really dry and patchy. The mountains have steep slopes and none are snow capped because most of the mountains are below 3000 meters above sea level. There are parallel ranges running in east to west direction such as Jaghi Hills. There are also other parallel ranges like Rasko Range and Makran Coastal Range. There are other north to south direction parallel ranges like Central Barohi and Hala Range. However, The names of these mountain ranges are enough for your learning. They are not included in the map labeling syllabus. Let's move on to the drainage. The Balochistan Plateau has inland drainage system. It is very important to understand that inland drainage system means that the rivers don't end up in a larger water body like the Arabian Sea. However, there are some seasonal rivers which do end up, they do join and fall in Arabian Sea. The inland drainage system means most of the rivers either flow into a larger water body or they evaporate or they absorb in the extremely dry and patchy soils. In the southern part of the Balochistan Plateau, the rivers like Dasht and River Hub, they flow from north to south direction and they eventually drain into the Arabian Sea. You must remember that these are the only rivers which are also included in your map labeling syllabus as well. There are seasonal rivers which flow only during the rainy season and the rainy season is December to March when the western depressions are very effective and active in this area. In central Balochistan, water either drains into inland lakes known as Hamoons or is absorbed into the ground. For example, the Kalachi River, it absorbs into the Kachi Sibbi Plain. The largest hamoon is Hamoon Mashkhel. What are hamoons? Hamoons are dry lakes in geographical terms known as playa lakes. These lakes are formed when seasonal rivers flow into them during the rainy season or the rainwater collects into depressions. When the water evaporates, it forms salt lakes or salt pans leaving a salty crust behind. The water of the Playa Lakes is so brackish that it cannot be consumed or used in any way possible by people or is not suitable for industrial uses as well since the industrial processes would be changed due to the chemical reactions. 
This happens because the salts in the soils are really high. The level of salts and minerals is high. In northern Balochistan, River Jhob flows from southwest towards northeast. It eventually meets the River Gomal and which falls into the River Indus. These are the western tributaries of River Indus. However, River Hab and Dasht are included in map labeling as I said above. For other rivers, you can learn the names for reference when you are doing explanation questions or detailed questions. As far as the map labeling is concerned, you will not be asked about these. The landscape here is really vast. For the economy of Balochistan Plateau, we must remember that the population in Balochistan is very low. There are less than 100 people per square kilometers. There are several reasons to that. The terrain is really inhospitable. Freshwater reserves are very low. The weather and climate in summertime and all around the year is not very helpful either. So people work as labor in nearby larger cities like Quetta or they move to Sindh and work in industries in Karachi. This land is blessed with many minerals, mining of gypsum, coal, marble, clay, shale and many others are available here. Farming is limited to valley floors for wheat, millets, maize and dates. Except for dates, other crops are mostly used for subsistence farming. Dates here are exported as well. Animal rearing of goat, sheep and camel is very common in the dry regions since these animals do not require a lot of water and they are good climbers as well. Urban settlements like Quetta is one of the largest valleys where most of the trade work is done. Trade is boosting with the development of the Gavadar port which is a part of the new upcoming CPEC project. The infrastructure in Balochistan is very limited. The infrastructure such as roads and railway link is available. The Quetta to Kohetaftan road and the railway link from Karachi to Quetta is available to serve the people and connecting various cities and province of Pakistan. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching. Share comments, questions and suggestions below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell icon.